latest tonight on a developing investigation at UB. Police want to know who wrote anti-Semitic slurs inside of a bathroom at the North Campus. It was disturbing what was written, and it's a threatening matter that was kind of scary. Now, the graffiti is kind of hard to see, but it says, kill all, followed by a derogatory word used to describe Jews. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Elsevan. It's scary for anyone to see, and me as a Jewish student, it's kind of nerve-wracking. It's been about one week since a student found this writing on a bathroom stall. Andrew Meyer and Logan Woodard have seen anti-Semitism before, but nothing like this. You don't often hear that, I hope. Um, it's, a, it's a big word. It, that it's not, it's a nasty word. The slur was written in Capon Hall. Police told Meyer and Woodard it may have been up for weeks before anybody reported it. It was disturbing. It's something that you don't expect to happen where you are. You always hear about it on other campuses um, or just something like this somewhere else. The school released a statement saying, quote, racist and discriminatory behaviors or conduct have no place at UB and will not be tolerated. Diversity, inclusion, and mutual respect are strongly held values at our university. Both Meyer and Woodard say UB is extremely diverse, which is part of why this is so surprising. But they believe anti-Semitism is on the rise at other college campuses nationwide. Last month, Governor Cuomo even threatened to withhold funding for CUNY schools amid allegations of on-campus anti-Semitism. At UC Berkeley, someone reportedly wrote Zionists should be sent to the gas chamber in a university bathroom. A swastika was found on campus there, too. But both students say they doubt this will ever happen at UB again. I don't think it's like what the majority of people think. The school is very united. They've been very helpful. In Amherst, Rachel Elzefan, 7 Eyewitness News.